My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 52 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at the uses of various gases. Remember, we are dealing with non-metals and their compound. This is a way of saying uses of non-metals and their compounds. The first non-metal we have is the hydrogen gas or the hydrogen molecule. Just H is a hydrogen atom. But remember, atoms cannot exist on their own. They combine as molecule. This makes molecule the smallest part of a substance that can exist on its own. Atom is actually the smallest particle of a substance, but it cannot exist on its own. Atoms are smaller than molecules. In fact, molecules are gotten from atoms. Take note of that. Hydrogen is used in filling balloons, hardening of oils, that is in saponification. It is used to manufacture ammonia in harbor process, and it is used in making hydrogen bomb. I analyzed this under radioactivity. Nuclear fusion, an application of nuclear fission. Oxygen gas is used in ozone at totaling flame for cutting metals. If you see weathers, that flame you see that weathers used for cutting metals for joining metal, that is ozone acetylene flame, which is a flame from ethane. We shall see that under hydrocarbons as time goes by. The chlorine gas is used as germicide to kill germs, and chlorine gas is also used as bleaching agent. Chlorine is not the only gas that is used as bleaching agent. In fact, SO2, sulfur so oxide, is also a bleaching agent. Now look at this. The difference between the bleaching action of chlorine gas and the bleaching action of sulfur, sulfur for oxide gas is that chlorine bleaches by oxidation, while sulfur for oxide bleaches by reduction. Now, why does or why do newspapers appear yellow after pro prolonged exposure to the atmosphere? This is because there is atmospheric oxidation. The action or the bleaching action from which it was produced has now been reversed by atmospheric oxidation and chlorine gas is used in making organic solvents like the chloroform tetrafluoromethane. Nitrogen gas is used in production of ammonia or manufacture of ammonia. Obviously, it is used in making fertilizers and it is ni liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is used as cooling agent, as coolant to keep cool. Hydrogen sulfide gas is used in analysis of O. Nitrogen 4 oxide is used in making HNO3, which is triozonitrified acid. Dinitrogen 1 oxide is used as mild anesthetic in surgery. To carry out surgery, you can apply dinitrogen 1 oxide so that as you are carrying out your, your operation, the patient doesn't feel the pain. If people actually feel pain during surgery, Ladies and gentlemen, there is no way you can bear the pain. You will hear everybody shouting at the hospital. But they apply anesthetics to you so that you don't feel the pain. They can literally be, but you won't feel any pain. That is the use of anesthetics. Then sulfur so oxide is used in making H2SO4, tetraozosophysis acid, which is a heavy chemical. It is needed in very large quantity in the industry. So, oxide is also used for destroying thermites. It is used as bleaching agent 
it is used as refrigerant and preservative. Refrigerants are very important in air conditioning system and refrigeration system. In your AC and your refrigerator, you have the refrigerant. They are substances that work based on the principle of change of state of matter from gas to liquid and from liquid back to gas. In the outdoor unit or back of your fridge, the compressor compresses the refrigerant. In most cases for AC, it is freon. When the gas is being compressed, the pressure gets too high, the temperature outside becomes too high. And from the law of thermodynamics, heat will naturally flow from a region of higher temperature to a lower temperature. Or heat will naturally flow from hotter body to cooler body. The air outside or the gets so hot and the gas goes inside. As the gas gets inside the AC, it gets cooler than the air inside. And remember, heat will naturally flow from a hotter body to cooler body. Since the air inside is hotter than the one at the surface of the AC, since there is um, cooling, there is fan making it very cool, all the hot air inside will flow inside the AC. And what happens when a liquid absorbs heat? It goes back to gaseous state and goes outside to drop that gas. So that process makes your room very cold and your AC very, very cool. That is a rough explanation of the working principle of the air conditioner. What you see outside of the AC is the outdoor unit. It contains the condenser, the fan, the compressor. Inside that fan, where you see blue inside, that cool air coming out, that is the evaporator unit. There is also fan in the indoor unit and other components. So, sulfur so oxide can be used as refrigerant. The carbon oxide is used as fire extinguisher. It is why? Because it is light and it does not support burning. So you can use carbon oxide to stop burning. In your soft drinks, Coke, Fanta, Sprite, when you open it, that refreshing taste you see, it is as a result of carbon oxide. It is carbon oxide that gives soft drinks their refreshing taste. And it is used in making sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, in sorbet process. Sorbet process is the industrial process used in making sodium carbonate. Why harbor process is the industrial process used in making ammonia. Then finally, carbon oxide makes the dough to rise while you are baking bread. It is carbon oxide that makes that dough to rise. Then sulfur oxide is used in making explosives and in making of H2SO4. Pardon, this is sulfur cis oxide. This is sulfur oxide. So sulfur cis oxide is also used in making H2SO4 and it is used in making explosive. Ammonia is used to remove temporary hardness from water, which I analyzed while under water. Then it is used as a refrigerant, it is used to make fertilizers, and it is also used to make sodium carbonate in survey process. Then hydrogen chloride gas is used in making hydrochloric acid. When you dissolve it in water, you form hydrochloric acid. Ladies and gentlemen, uses of various gases, or we say uses of non-metals and their compounds. This brings us to the end of this class. Please get the Flash Learner Jam app using the YouTube description below or visit flashlearner.com for various version or search Flash Learner Jam on Play Store. Make sure the app you are installing is the Flash Learner Jam app. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful. And follow me on all my social handles at I am Flash ID and Flash Learners. That will do. See ya in the next episode.